People here in the Triangle are also reflecting on that day 23 years ago. Nearly 3,000 people in New York, Pennsylvania, and the Pentagon died in those attacks. A local organization started a new tradition for the anniversary. CBS 17's Greg Funderburg joins us live. And Greg, how are they honoring the lives lost? Well, well, you know, when you think about this event, you know, so many people have been talking about, you know, this this horrible tragedy in American history for a number of years. And so the Northern Wake Senior Center decided that they wanted to have an inaugural event today. But the bigger thing that they wanted to do is have a fundraiser to support a bigger cause. Dozens came out to honor. Remember. The home of the brave and teach the next generation about this horrific tragedy. Sushma Sharma recently moved to Wake County but lived in New Jersey on September 11th. I had a friend's son who passed away and the parents held out hope for about four days. This story is one of thousands. Organizer Joe Grimm says he hopes people never forget. Unfortunately, the younger generation seems to be not aware of what happened back in that day. So I've had this mission to continue to have everybody remember. He says he organized the inaugural event at the Northern Wake Senior Center to raise money for the 200 Club of Wake County. To help and support families of first responders that lose their life in the line of duty. Barry says their mission is to ensure these families have what they need when their loved one doesn't return home. The first responders are there for us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And that's why he says as he chose this organization to benefit. They leave the house, their family doesn't know if they're coming home or not. They just walk into danger continually. And we hope that the first responders understand there is a good faction of people that stand behind them. And as people reflect, remember, and raise money for a good cause, someone who was near New York City on that horrible day says these events serve as a reminder of everyone coming together. As an immigrant, I came to the USA in 1981, and it made me realize how truly American I was that very day. Organizers say they plan to make this an annual event. If you'd like to get more information about the 200 Club of Wake County and to make a donation, head over to our website, cbs17.com. We have posted a link in this story where you can go over to their website and make that donation. I'm Greg Funderburg reporting live in Wake County. All right, Greg, thank you so much. We appreciate it.